Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to this update video for DCS F18C Hornet. In the next week or two, we're going to be rolling out several new fixes and updates for the Hornet, and we wanted to create this video to give you a head start understanding some of these new changes. You also may note the AIM-9X and the AMRAM loaded on the aircraft. We're also working on bringing these missiles to the aircraft soon. Let's get started. Let's first talk about the set function for the radar. This allows you to adjust the default parameters for each air-to-air -air missile. I'll select 6 bar, 80 mile range, and hit the set button to set the new parameters for the AIM-7. If I then select, say, gun, and then go back to the AIM-7, you'll see those parameters are now saved. We also now have the silent push button, and by pressing it, it will silence the emissions from the radar. Also doing so, we have the active push button. And by pressing it, it will do one raster bar of the scan. And you'll notice when it's in silent mode, we'll have the iron cross in the bottom. By pressing silent push button again, it returns to normal operation. Let's talk about the dud cue on the HUD now. When the height setting is above your aircraft altitude, you'll see the dud cue appear on the HUD, as well as the brake X. This indicates that the bomb will not fuse correctly. Now once we get above the height setting, the dud key will go away as well as the brake X. A new addition to the radar warning receiver is a line that emits from a critical threat all the way out to the non-lethal threat band. Also in the video you'll note that we have aircraft in a lethal zone as well as an E2 in the bottom at the non-lethal zone. Another new addition are night vision goggles, but before using you may want to set your master mode to night vision as well as adjusting your DDIs, your MPCD, and your HUD. To enable the NVGs, press right shift and H. You can then adjust the gain of the NVGs by pressing right shift and right control H and right shift and right alt in H. To turn off the NVGs, just press right shift and H a second time. Now let's talk about the ICLS or the Instrument Carrier Landing System, which is the ILS system just used for the carrier. To do so, we'll press the ILS button on the USC turn it on and punch in our code 1 through 20 and hit enter and then down on the HSI we'll press the ILS push button and now we see that we have both a localizer and a glide slope line up on the HUD and this is also duplicated on the HUD repeater as well as the standby ADI. In a later video we'll take a closer look at this in operation for a case 3 recovery. The last item I want to touch on was a fix for aircraft sliding around the deck when the aircraft carrier is moving more than 20 knots. In this video test, you can see that the carrier is actually moving almost 30 knots. As you can see, despite the aircraft carrier moving at 30 knots, the aircraft are no longer sliding and quite easy to taxi on the deck. I hope you enjoyed this little update, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.